Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru. It is November 1st, 2022. I'm here for my Wordle of the Day and for D. Hamilton Jackson Day. And this is celebrated primarily in St. Croix, where he lived and worked and labored for causes like labor and education and freedom of the press. And that's actually why we celebrate today on November 1st, because that's the birth date of the Herald, which was the first free newspaper in St. Croix. And he ran it. He was also, you know, a judge and a bookkeeper, just really a multifaceted, amazing gentleman who also lobbied for St. Croix to uh, be placed under American jurisdiction. And so St. Croix is now one of the uh, the U.S. Virgin Islands. I've actually been there. I had terrible morning sickness, but I enjoyed myself anyway. All right, so let's use that as our inspiration for today. And we're going to talk about rights. So we're going to say right, because it's a nice five-letter word that is associated with that man very strongly. All right, so let's see if that helps us at all. And it does. We've got a letter and we've got it placed. Could be worse, could be raining. Okay, so let's see what else we can do. Um, R S T L N E. And then we've also got maybe an A I O. U, E, and sometimes Y, right? So um, I'm seeing right away lanes, but of course I don't like to end in an S because mostly words in Wordle don't. They don't end in like plurals or uh, various t tenses of verbs. So S or D. Uh, let's see. I also could do Elons, which could also then be part of the uh, freedom of speech rights argument going on currently. Um, gosh, don't know what to do with this. How about... Let's also try to pull in maybe a couple of other letters. W, D, P. What if we do... I just don't want to give up on these letters because if I don't try one of these letters, I'll be so obligated in my brain to do that. Uh, why don't we go ahead and do lanes? Oh, I'm glad we did lanes. Okay, so let's get rid of all this stuff. And let's see, green, and we've got N, and we've got E. So what could be at the end? No, we can't do an S. We could do a D, but again, that's not very common. I'm seeing pined, find, mind, wind, dined. It could be a lot of different things if we end in a D. Could be in a Q, nope, a W. Sinew, nope, we've used the S. A Y. Whiny. Piney. Um, o, P, D, F, J, K, Z, X. Mm, see it. C, V, B, M. So it looks like our choices are between D and Y. 
right? If I didn't do that, why don't I just do a Y down here for the ending? Or maybe an N, linen, nope, we've used the L. Okay, so I definitely want to try a word that has both D and Y in it. What are some other good letters? Well, we still, we probably have all the vowels we need, but we haven't used an O or a U yet. Uh, we can also think about W, P, D, we did like wind, dined, oh wait, we already did the D, the D's over there. Well, I'll just stick the Y over here so everything's over close together. And maybe an M. So what five letter word can I make with these letters to test out? Because I don't know what this is yet. Right now there are too many options. So we know we want to try the D and the Y. What about... Hmm. I don't know. Isn't that sad? Well, and we can also bring in an I and an E. We know that those are in there. I just don't want to duplicate them. So... If we try I keep thinking of six letter words and that's not really going to help us here. I think I need a better I need not so many letters. So we know we want to try oops, the D and the Y, right? And we want to try maybe oh W Maybe a P. Maybe an F. What about... Oh, we've already tried the H. What about wimpy? Nope, windy because we want the D and the Y. Let's try Windy. Oh, we've already used the N and the I. I could see one, but not the other. Oh. So, hold on. I want to put the Y here, right? Because that's where a Y is most likely to go. And then maybe we do the D here, and then if we do W, I, so I could do wimpy, but then I would have to get rid of the D. Wimpy, dwimmy. I'm going to do Wendy. Is that awful? It is. I can't. I can't do both of those. I'm going to do Wimpy. I'm not doing the D. Oh, I think I don't need to do the D. Y and the P. Piney. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I put myself through so much turmoil and then just finally give up. And when I give up, that's when it works. I'm going to give up more often. Hey, that's our lesson for the day. Yeah, I, I don't think that that's what our inspiration had in mind. All right. So that is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.